Hi guys, this is uh, Martin Gonzalez. I'm here with uh, Daniel Chan. She's uh, uh, a winner from the Emerald Cup 2014. How are you? I'm good. good. So we are here trying to uh, uh, ask her a little bit about uh, all the, the, the steps that she's been following through the, the fitness life style. Uh, we would like to know, and uh, maybe we start from the beginning, uh, uh, where are you from? Did you grow up here? I'm from Washington, Western Washington. Yeah. You, you, you've been here your whole life? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Moved around a little bit, but I'd say Washington. Washington State. Yeah. How is, uh, is anybody in your family into the fitness? No, nope. it's just me. Sisters? No, my brothers are kind of the nerdy type. <laughs> yes, they don't, they don't lift weights? No, anything. no, not at all. What is, uh, what, is uh, what got you involved in the bodybuilding? I grew up doing gymnastics and then I stopped once I graduated high school. It's kind of worked out for a few years, but I mean, it's mostly just like running, you know, girls' cardio machines and stuff. And then Kyle and I got together and he was lifting and he was like, oh, you should stop doing that and come to the gym with me. So I was in and then I just kept going ever since. Keep going, yeah. keep going. And then uh, how long did you uh, prepare yourself for the end of cup? So the Emerald Cup was at the end of April last year, and I decided to compete in it in February. So I had a couple of months. What kind of uh, divisions were, uh, were you involved in? I competed in figure and fitness. Yeah. So figure and fitness are essentially the same in what they're looking for in physique. Their posing is the same, the suit and everything, but the difference is that fitness has the two minute fitness routine where you can do gymnastics, dance, aerobics, I mean, it's a, the display of your athleticism, basically. Did, did you get any kind of uh, uh, preparations for your posing? Did anybody help you? Yeah, so Tangie Johnson, who's actually, I think, a nine-time IFBB champion, she's in the Olympia and the Arnold, gets second, I mean, she's one of the top fitness girls. She runs a team down in Renton, and I joined up with her, so she helped me with my posing, and because I had no idea, I'd never been on stage, I'd never even been to a show. So I had to learn how to do that and the styling. I mean, it's a whole big production what the judges are looking for. And I would have no idea how to do that. <laughs> what about what about you lifting the uh, you have several coaches or what's only one? No, the only it's just me and my boyfriend Kyle. We do all of my training, nutrition. We're in here working out together every day. Um, we kind of, I mean, we had a plan for Emerald Cup. I definitely wrote things down in a book knowing what I wanted to hit or at least what I did that day that way I could go back the next week but I mean we really don't have anything set out before we just we're really into this we're always watching videos and we keep up on the competition circuit what the judges are looking for so we just kind of base our training style on that yeah. so uh, when we're talking about your diet did you, uh, were you very strict for how many weeks did you prepare for this so it was the middle of February all the way through the end of April. So for that whole like 12 week period, it was, I had five meals, I eat five times a day, and then I have something to eat right before and right after I work out. Um, and that was just basically the same all throughout that whole time period. And we'd slowly start maybe like 100 calories a week, start to taper it down. So I don't wanna do anything drastic to my body. So we just kept it clean and consistent and slowly tapered it down and then I just went on stage. <laughs> so did, did you win the gold, uh, the gold club for yes. fitness and the figure? Mm -hmm. So I won my height class for both categories and then I went into the overall where all the winners of each height class come together and then they decide who's the best out of that. And so I won that one in both categories as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from there uh, you moved to pro division or you uh, competed in another amateur level? Yeah, so Emerald Cup was actually my second show. I competed in a show two weeks prior to that in Vancouver, Washington. Similar thing, NPC, amateur level. Um, I won that one, and then I did the Emerald Cup, and then both, winning both of those shows qualified me for a national show, which I went and did, and it was in uh, New York in July. And if you win that show, you earn your pro card, and now you can compete in the IFBB, which is the professional league. And so I won that one, and so, no, no <laughs> no, she's a pro. So, what is uh, your future? Well, we are in 2015. Yes. Do you, I'm assuming you, you're trying to reach another goal, another I level? Yes. Yeah. So, I am debuting my professional in figures. I'm not doing fitness, I'm just doing figure. Once you get to the pro level, you can only pick one. one you can't goal. do both in the same show. You can do any category, but not in the same show. So, I decided to do figure, and it's 
July 4th and it's in Chicago. So I'm, I think I'm like 52 days out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So are you uh, tweaking a little bit your uh, ways of lifting, your diet? Yeah, so in this, because it'll be exactly one year, I went pro July 4th last year, and this year it's July 4th. So in that whole year, our training style changed. We longer rest periods, heavier weights. We'd lift in the afternoon as opposed to first thing in the morning, have some food in us, really be able to like, I mean, we were building muscle. So now our training style, we're in the, here in the morning, shorter rest periods, longer sets. I mean, I'm trying to burn as much calories, but I'm still eating pretty much the same. I'm about 1,800 calories, which, I mean, it's pretty high. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, uh, your boyfriend, Ty Austin, right? That's his name. Osborne, yeah. He's, uh, he's your coach pretty much mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. and, yes. So, and we just do it together. <laughs> what, so that will be the, the one competition that's coming up. I mean, uh, do you have any for that one or you have any? That's group? my first one. Two weeks later in Vancouver, we see, um, so just a little bit up north from us, there's a pro show. It's actually the first one in Vancouver, BC. So that'll be a really good one. And I'll do figure that one. And then in October, there's the Europa Phoenix down in Arizona. And I might do fitness for that one. Because that'll give me some time to put a whole new routine together. Fitness is just, it's really hard training. It's hard on your body. I mean, it takes that much more. You're doing everything that everybody else is doing. Plus, figuring out how to put an entertaining routine together that you can do up on stage when you're completely depleted and, like, you know, dying. <laughs> so it, it takes a toll on you. And so I wanted to get the first couple of pro shows out of the way and then, and then get back into fitness again. Because it is really fun, but it is really difficult. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna thank, thank uh, Daniel for the, the time, and then uh, we we'll hope that we have a good luck in your shows coming up, and then uh, we'll like to interview you after the next yeah, week. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. After I win. <laughs>